As promised, this is going to be an update on my Olay eye treatment. So if you're interested to find out what am I thinking after um, a little over a month of using the UK version as opposed to using the US version since February 14th, 2018, stay tuned. I have to begin, I think, with a little bit of my journey. I'm going to insert some photos because I'm a work in progress and I am far, far from where I want to be, but I'm okay where I'm at. And I think the biggest difference, and I always get asked this, the biggest difference in my skincare routine was adding Retin-A, was adding Derma Rolling, and using an eyelash serum. Those of you that have been following my journey, you know that I started out using CarePost. I grew some amazing eyelashes. Look at my before picture. So you can see the progress in my eyelashes. I'm now using a product called Blink, which I'm absolutely loving. So I've been on an eyelash journey for a long time and also on a skincare journey. If you take a look at some of my earlier 2016 photos that I'm going to include here is before I started Retin-A, before I started Care Pros, before I started any, you know, major skincare other than, you know, washing my face and putting cream on. But you can see, I think, some of the progress. So as I progressed to using this in early 2018, I started on my birthday, February 14th, to see if I could tackle the deeper lines on my eyes. At that time, and I'll, I'll insert some before pictures, but I have to caution you, a lot of my photos that I took were basically looking at my eyelashes. They weren't really looking at my wrinkles. So my before pictures are not all that great. I tried to use natural lighting in all of the photos so that, you know, so that a ring light, which is lighting me up really nice here and balancing the back light as well as the front light so that I, you can actually see me. So in these photos, I've used natural light as much as possible, but I caution you, they're not exact poses at all. They're not the exact same time of day. They're not, you know, any kind of like super exact type of a setting. I basically did it to sort of follow my progress without really thinking about, wow, am I going to have a difference? You know, how am I going to show this to the world? I just did it basically for myself. So you can see some of my before pictures and you can follow the progress. So when I started this in February, I had been using Retin-A for quite a while. I'm going on my two year anniversary of Retin-A and at that point in time, I'm gonna share that journey what the last two years have been with you, complete update. But at that point in time, I've been using Retin-A for quite a while and I've been using the Retin-A around my eyes and I've been having, I never really went up close to my deep wrinkles here because I was a little nervous and I always have peeling, so I was always having a little bit of reactions and I didn't wanna do that. So when this came out and I read about it and I thought, well, this might be a good thing. And I started to use it a dab into my deep wrinkles. And then a couple of other ladies talked about it and how great it was, what a miracle it was. And I realized they were talking about the UK version rather than the US version. The ingredients, while some of them are the same or in a different order, maybe varying strengths, basically on the standards that they have. So I got this sent to me from Gail from Random Life Productions and I started to use this in mid-May on my face, on my eyes. What I did is I used the US version on one side, the UK version on the other side. And so many of you have been asking me, well, how's it going, how's it going? What do you think, what do you think? And I keep saying it's too soon, it's too soon. Now I know the ladies that have been using this say it's almost like a miracle they've seen overnight. I have said all along when I started to use this, all along, that after I started to see a difference in this, I felt that there was a softening, maybe even a blurring of some of my deeper wrinkles. They didn't go away. And when I started to use this, I used this on the side of my face that is the heaviest exposed, where I had the deepest wrinkle, my driving side, you know, I've always, I mean, I put it on that same side all the time. And here is some photos that you can see when I started using this, you can see the difference between the two if there is any. And you can watch these photos right up to last week. Today is Father's Day. When I'm filming this, this will probably go live sometime next week. I'm not too sure. But you can judge for yourself if you think there's a difference between the two products. My feeling is, I think, 
when I started to use this and I started to see that there was a blurring of my wrinkles, I thought it was wonderful. And I bought a second tube of it because I was really excited that I could start to see a slight blurring. When I started to use this, the blurring to me on this one eye, which was my worst eye, the blurring factor was more so than this. So I do think there is a difference between these two products. I think this one works slightly better, slightly better, at least on my worst, this was the eye that was the worst, than this one. But I'm loving this one. You can be the judge. I'm going to run the photos again so you can see them. You can decide for yourself. I mean, this, if you're not getting it on sale, you can get it at Walgreens. Sometimes they have really good sales. Buy one full price, get the other half off. If you go on online, you can use Ebates, you can use coupons. There's all sorts of different options. This you have to get from someone who's willing to send it to you. It's going to cost you a little bit more because you're going to have to pay shipping um, unless you happen to know someone that's visiting the UK, which I do right now and I'm hoping they bring me back some. But anyways, I, I will tell you that I'm liking this. Has it been a miracle? No. Has it been a dramatic improvement? No. Has there been an improvement? Yes. And I don't know if it's mostly this because I started with both eyes using this. I don't know if it's a combination of my retin-A that I've been using all along. But there's been an improvement in my eyes and I'm liking that. So I'm going to continue this. Like my Retin-A use, I, three months into it, I didn't notice anything. I started to notice stuff when I was hitting six months, nine months. And then I was like going, wow. And the same thing with my derma rolling. I didn't notice anything right away other than it was sore, <laughs> red, and all that. It took a while. And my Care Pros, when I started the eyelash serum, that all took a while too. So I'm willing to give this a try. That's all I can tell you. Whether it's for you or not, it's going to be up to you. Whether you think there's a difference in my photos will be up to you. Of course, if you look at my pre-retin-A photos, my skin is completely different. That's going to be another video. I'm super, super excited. I can't wait to share all that with you. But I'm going to continue on with this. I, I, this is not sponsored. I bought these products. I'm going to continue on with it. So that's about it for my update. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like the video. Leave me a comment. Have you tried this? What do you think? I do know it may not be for everyone. So whatever skincare you're using or doing, you should always check it out very carefully to make sure it's something that is going to be good for you. If you have any reactions, stop using it. If you have any questions, talk to your dermatologist. Talk to someone who really knows. I'm not that expert. I'm just on this journey and sharing it with you. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.